All right, we just got back uh, into town. Uh, hit a liquor store in the city. Picked up some pints of stuff we've never seen before. Uh, one of them is uh, pretty high alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. Now that one's a 12 ounce bottle, but. Yeah, it's like drinking uh, six Oklahoma beers pretty much, so yeah, that kind of tells you. You want to tell them what it is? I don't even remember the name of it. No, I'm talking about that. What percentage is that crap? 18.2. Uh, we picked up, how many total beers were there? Uh, plus the three five. that we already had. I got a total of five today. Total of five. It's uh, mid-afternoon, and it's our first day off, so we're just going to do one at a time. We're not going to do back-to-back. Yeah. And it's a little hot out here. Yeah, we're out in the garage. Women decided to watch TV inside, yeah. so we got thrown into the man cave, even though it's freaking 100 degrees outside here. Yeah. All right, I'm taking first. You chocolate stout? No. Is it that double chocolate? No, it's that uh, the uh, Sam Samuel Smith. Samuel Smith. He also got a pint of that double chocolate uh, yacht from Young's. Yeah. That's for him to try. We're not going to review that again unless he likes it. Then I got another one at the house. We can split it. Work that into another review. Right. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Can't drink beer with that. Just not the same. I got a drink. Uh, this is uh, Samuel Smith's Organic Chocolate Stout. Product of UK... Uh, one pint, two point seven ounces. Let's see here, five percent alcohol. Uh, I'll read the back of this since we don't know anything about these beers. Brute we didn't do any research. Yeah. We just hey, let's grab some beers and do some reviews. Yeah. Since this is a pint, we're just uh, going to split between the glasses. Yeah, this won't fit. As uh, brewed with water from the original brewery, well sunk in 1758, the gently roasted organic chocolate malt and real organic cocoa used in the ale. Uh, impart a delicious, smooth, and creamy character with inviting, deep flavors and a delightful finish. This is a perfect marriage of satisfying stout and luxurious chocolate that will lead the smi to smiles and refills. With a giant ass pint, it trust me, will refill more than once. Uh, Samuel Smith's brewed <coughs> in traditional copper used stone. Hang on, let me sure. Samuel Smith's brew brews in traditional coppers uses stone Yorkshire squares for fermentation and ships every bottle from the brewery with great pride. Alright. He's got his own 50. Yeah, that a good, what, almost a little over a year? Yeah, it's been over a year. Because didn't you get it for my birthday last year? Yeah. So it's been about a year and a couple months. Start small. I barely even touched it. It smells like a stout, but it has a little more of a beer smell. I like that dark, dark color. You might see it's daylight through this. Really sweet smell. It's like a little bit of chocolate in there. Are you ready? Yeah. So smell. Kind of a buttery sweet smell. You can taste that chocolate in there. Yeah, you can really. That's a nice, sweet, strong chocolate. You can taste the alcohol a little, a little bit more than uh, any chocolate side I've had. Oh, this one you can. <laughs> but the smell matches the flavor perfectly. It smells sweet, tastes sweet. Uh, there's no coffee taste, which I'm kind of more towards the milk stouts and coffee stouts, but I'm liking this. Yeah, I mean this was only really, yeah. this was like three something, three sixty for a pint. Yeah, it was around three sixty, either that or three fifty. Something I can't remember. USDA organic. I like it. I definitely will buy again. Yeah, and we got a another Samuel Smith with his uh, Tawny Porter. Uh, Taddy Porter. Taddy Porter. 
which is I've had it before. Yeah, he got, but it's been a while. He got three of these. He cleared the shelf. Yeah, the tatty quarters. We got a twelve pack of the Honey Browns. Because I've looked up for liquor stores to find it all over the place. Because I went to a, kind of a brewery type place. Mm -hmm. and I also got food and stuff, but and I actually had it there. And I had tasted it before during Oktoberfest over in Choctaw. Mm -hmm. I'd gotten one there before and I liked it. And so I started looking for it everywhere, but I couldn't find it anywhere. But we went to this one there in the city, and it's big, and boom, I saw it and I was like, well, I'm clearing your shelf. I will say that this is uh, definitely not a thicker stout, which I, I seem to like the, the thicker bodied stouts. I mean, it's just the way it feels in your mouth. It's not too bad, though. You can definitely taste the malt. Definitely full flavored, I like it. Mm -hmm. Would you buy it again? Definitely. Yeah, for the price, you can't beat it. Oh, no. Pint for $30 or something? Just a hair over a pint? A pint with 2.7 ounces? It's not too sweet. No. I definitely get it again. Yeah. It tastes more. It's kind of weird. You know, you've got white chocolate or, or milk chocolate, and it's, it's a blend in the middle. It's, it's it's what it's like, except for it's not creamy. It is a little thicker. It almost tastes like a dark chocolate. My mom likes dark chocolates. That's the same dark chocolate like to me. It tastes like in between a milk and a white. Yeah. It's just me. Everybody's different. That's why I try to pair it with people. Yeah, one of these times we're going to have to get, you know, third or Yeah. That way, off of one review, you know, you can get multiple well, opinions. Me, you, and Storm are all off on uh, Friday. All right, Storm. Yeah. <laughs> Call him, tell him to hurry and get here for the next one. Yeah, I don't think that'll happen. But when you first poured it, you know, the head, if you looked at it, it looked porous like a, like, like a French bread, kind of weird, kind of like a spongy looking. And it's still there. Of course, in all the videos you can tell I pour mine a lot different than he does. Yeah, I like to slow pour it. Yeah, I definitely will be getting this again. Yeah, definitely. That's good. I wouldn't even consider this a, a kickback beer. If it was a, if it was a little stronger and thicker, I would. But this is one of those beers you just get out of the fridge, just talk to your friends, stand around the campfire or whatever, and drinking. Either that or dinner. Yeah. I mean, not all types of foods. I'm not sure exactly which ones I'd want to drink it with, but I can definitely see me drinking it with some kind of. You know, that would taste good with peanut butter sandwich. I think it's peanut butter. Yeah. The, the uh, chocolate in it would really stand out good. Or a Nutella sandwich. Um, for a stout. Mm, I haven't had very many six, stouts. Six so half. I'll just have to agree with you on it because I haven't had very many stouts. Yeah. He, had a, he got a pint of that uh, young double chocolate. He's on a drink. Yeah. With his uh, significant other. I'm excited for that one. So, baby, I got you some chocolate. <laughs> <laughs>